My journey into youth ministry did not begin this past June, but rather it began in the summer of 2015. My mom was scheduled to go on a trip to England, tracing the life and ministry of John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist Church, when suddenly at the last minute she had to back out due to work responsibilities. As a result, she asked me to step into her place, and without hesitation I said yes. After all, how could I pass up on an opportunity to travel to England? That being said, Around this time, I was also in the process of applying to seminary. And it just so happened that a couple weeks before leaving for the trip, my dad and I attended a church service at our church in which my pastor mentioned toward the end of the service that he would soon be heading off to England with several seminary students and high school youth group students who were considering a call to ministry. I had not previously known that this trip would be made up of people considering ministry. So after hearing him say this, not only did I realize that I had been blessed with a unique opportunity to travel to England, but I also felt that God was confirming my call to ministry and my decision to apply to seminary. The trip to England was great. I had the opportunity to pray with seminary students, see the birthplace of John Wesley, and even had the opportunity to see the famous Stonehenge. That being said, after our time in England was finished, I was ready to head back to Kansas City. On the plane ride home, I happened to sit next to one of the lead youth group ministers at my church. And after talking for a couple of hours and sharing our testimonies with one another, she eventually invited me to volunteer on Wednesday nights at Red Slife, which is the name of the middle school youth group at our church. Long story short, after considering her invitation for a couple of weeks, I finally said yes, and I'm grateful I did. I had the opportunity to volunteer at retreats, lead Bible studies, and even went on an end of the year town trip with the kids, all of which prepared me for this year at Boys Ranch. Finally, around February of last year, Mike Wilhelm reached out to a mutual friend and one of my seminary professors, Nancy Pauls, who introduced me to the Iona Project. And after talking it over with my parents and prayerfully considering the program for several weeks, I finally came to the conclusion that this is where God wanted me to be. Before arriving here, I had the mental image of dusty roads and buildings without air conditioning. I can even remember asking Molly on the phone before arriving here if there was a place to work out or if there was anywhere to get food. <laughs> I had my concerns, but thankfully she answered yes to both questions. That being said, upon pulling up to the pylon with my dad, I quickly realized that Boys Ranch was nothing like I imagined. Whether it's the rolling hills of magenta, the flower beds in front of the chapel, where the fishing ponds by Craig, Tunnel, and Rafter are, Boys Ranch is truly a beautiful place. With that said, I can honestly say that from start to finish, I have been blessed to have experienced God's grace and presence throughout my entire time here at Boys Ranch. Initially, there was a great joy in going into different houses, playing basketball at the Dipple, or simply just hanging out and talking with various kids and house parents, and I'm grateful to say that that joy has still not faded away to this day. As far as ministry concerned, is concerned, one specific experience that stands out to me is my, sp my time spent with Jeremy, one of the children in the pre-adolescent community. When he found out that we would be spending one hour a week together, full of excitement, he started to list all of the things that we could do. I remember him saying something along the lines of, we can go roller skating, bike riding, play basketball, and get snacks at headquarters. And we did all of those things. That being said, looking back, what stands out to me most about my time with Jeremy isn't the things we did, but rather it's the growth that took place in him over the course of several months. At times I wasn't sure how valuable our time together was, and some days he would simply just want to play with his friends, while I would merely tag along. That being said, by the end of our time together, things eventually seemed to change. On our last day together, we went out for ice cream at headquarters, 
and instead of assuming that he could get two scoops of ice cream as he sometimes would, he looked back at me and asked me for permission. It's a simple example, but it seems that by the end of our time together, to Jeremy, I was no longer merely someone to do things with, but I became a person to him, and I truly be believe that he came to value our time. Switching gears a bit, as far as community is concerned, I can honestly say that I have been blessed by each of the other five Ionans. Even though we haven't always agreed on everything, I can honestly say that God has been present in our group, and I'm grateful for the several one-on-one -on -one conversations that I was able to have with each of you throughout the year, as well as for the patience and grace that each of you demonstrated to me by allowing me the space to grow and to be molded into the person that God is calling me to be. I also want to thank the rest of the chapel staff, Thank you, Mike, Jennifer, Nola, Ray, Mr. O, for the patience and grace that each of you had for me throughout the year. And thank you for letting me dive into your offices unexpectedly with my thoughts, concerns, and ideas, and for your willingness to always listen to, support, and encourage me. As cliche as it sounds, if there's anything that I've learned about God during my time at Boys Ranch, it is that he is faithful. As I mentioned before, I believe that this is where God wanted me to be. And so early on, I realized that if God wants me to be here, he was going to give me the grace and strength and whatever else necessary to complete the ministry tasks here. And looking back, I can honestly say that he has. Whether it's been our weekly devotions, talking at buying a radical, preaching a sermon, or taking the kids on a retreat, God has consistently provided me with the grace necessary to get through each day. With that being said, one thing I've learned about myself is that I need to continue to trust God and take him at his word. He is faithful and he does provide because that is his nature and that isn't going to change. He will be with me wherever I go and I can rest in that fact. When it comes to relationships and learning about how to interact with others, perhaps the most valuable thing that I have learned is that it is truly best to not show any type of partiality towards others as well as not to place too high of or unfair expectations on others but rather to be the servant of all, as Jesus says in Luke 22:26, When we are more concerned about meeting the needs of others rather than constantly worrying about having our own needs met, not only are we more at peace, but we are able to be a blessing to others. Finally, if there is anything that I have learned about ministry, it is that it is not possible without consistently being in prayer. Perhaps one of the greatest blessings to me during my time here at Boys Ranch was our daily morning prayers and weekly lectionary readings which consistently provided me with the joy and strength necessary for serving others. Without both of those things, I wouldn't have been able to do this job and likely wouldn't have had the transformative experience that I've had here at Boys Ranch. More than anything, I just want to say that I am truly grateful for the love and the joy that I have experienced here at Boys Ranch. I'm grateful for the many conversations that I had with several different people. I'm grateful for the time that I was able to spend in homes hanging out with kids and talking to house parents. And I'm grateful for the laughs we shared as a community. Words can't fully capture everything I want to say here. So most of all, I just want to say thank you.